I have now hit record. There we go. Right. Uh, it is West North Wednesday. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. We need a tune for West North Wednesday. Um, with me is Chris Weir. Hello, Internet. And Lucy. Hi, everybody. And I am, of course, Hamish the Polar Bear. Right. We are going to be playing some of that there um, Battle for West North multiplayer. We've been making little changes and trying stuff out the last few sessions of this, and we've done the same as before. We've made it a slightly smaller map to give it a bit more intensity, mm -hmm. but we've also this time, at Chris, uh, Chris has been asking for it a few times now, at Chris's behest, we are trying out uh, the Age of Heroes uh, mode, which basically gives you access to higher level characters earlier on in the game, uh, mm -hmm. essentially. As far as I know, that's the big difference. That's it. It just opens you up to level twos, and so it it, it isn't necessarily like balanced because some uh, some units are harder to level up than others, and that's by design as part of the balance, which you do, you sort of get, do away with with the uh, Age of Heroes. But it can be kind of fun if you just want a big old cha chaotic ba battle. Yeah. In fact, right. to be honest, Hamish, I think you might do particularly well out of this because the undead do pretty well when they're leveled up. Mm. Okay. Right. Well, that's uh, yeah, maybe we level two see. ghosts. Mm. Oh, it's when and when they hit level three, man, it's it's game over. Those level <laughs> three guys are just like. Well, we'll see. Well, at the moment, I am going with the um, with the, the undead. Lucy's gone with rebels. Chris, this is your last chance to choose instead of staying as random. I am random. I'm I'm international man of mystery. You you're not going to know what's what's here goes. What's We're going to find out in a second. Right, so who am I? Um, I am a ranger. Is that the rebels? I don't know. Are you an elf? No. Um, oh, I elf. think I might be. I think I might be Nalgan Alliance. Oh right, okay. A ranger is a leveled up trapper, and they're Nalgan ah, Alliance, see. aren't they? Okay, so yeah, Nalgan Alliance. Uh, right. Oh, those dwarfish berserkers! Oh, so... Berserker, <laughs> would you yeah. like some making fuck berserker? Did he say making fuck? Oh, okay. So Kevin hmm. Smith references. <laughs> Very up to date. Berserker. I think what I will do first. Well, I mean, I not. I shouldn't <laughs> tell, should I? No, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not very good strategy to say. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. After this, let's play poker, Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. Excellent. Well, I've got this card and this card. Oh, sorry. If you can hear me drinking, my apologies. That's right. I got two drinks, so you'll probably hear something out of that. You fancy, fancy pants. <laughs> That was a really bad noise, actually. <laughs> That's that sort of noise get you banned on Twitch. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh! My goodness! Oh, the the, the intensity of it. Mm, I see a little silhouette of a bat. No, you can see the whole bat. <laughs> <laughs> and you landed there on your feet with the old uh, flying death machines. Yeah, they are glass cannons. No, they're, they're not. They're, these are level ones as well. So, glass cannons with thirty-five hit points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're also. Oh, I everybody know. believes you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the sympathy oozing from the chat for you. Uh, oh no, none at all. Right. Oh. oh. Frick. Oh, that tree's about to smack a bat to death. Oh, no, no, some, uh, Bo, Bowman got it first. Bad bad news, Lucy. All the things that wiped all my stuff out on the way are coming to you now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what are these bats doing <laughs> smack? Right. Where were we? Oh, yeah, attacking the big okay. guys. I, I think, to be honest, the, the Nalgan Alliance don't have that much diversity at level two. But uh, there's, there's some good ones, I guess. I don't know. We'll find out. I right. can buy the the level two griffins, but they're just too expensive. They're fifty gold a pop, I think, or forty, Oof. something That's like more. that. Forty, I think, actually. The um, level one ones are quite expensive, aren't they? Yeah, Not the level one ones comparatively. The level two, the level two, yeah, forty gold for level two uh, griffin riders. So, um, 
Yeah, Benny's Benny's answer to my um, morning was get good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get the keys. oh, you done it! Oh, you done it! What happened? I can't see. I'm, oh. I'm out of the loop. <laughs> Lucy, Lucy, Lucy's tree got me. We didn't get ah, you. Excellent. We didn't well, get. I, I fell into your trap. I mean, you wandered up to my one of my fighters and attacked it. Is what you actually? Did. No, no, in- incorrect. I think you're fine. Is that white mage's magical power like particularly damaged at night time? Because that didn't seem to do as much damage as I would expect. Yeah. Is it like super set? Se- <laughs> well, it's awful. But, yeah. Uh... Minus twenty five percent then. It's the usual, isn't it? It's yeah. the usual, yeah. I don't know if it's special for that power. It doesn't say anything, so probably not, but... Well, I'm sorry, Lucy. I feel like you should have got more damage out of that, to be honest. I know. And you're probably about to kill me, aren't you? So, that's nice. I might not. Like, I mean, there might be, like, all tr- all trees hiding hiding in there. Oh, come on! Well, I am absolutely screwed. You say that, but there are like... No, no, trust me. I cannot see any way out of this. Um... Well, there, are, there are four griffins on Lucy's doorstep, so... Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, Chris has sent all his troops to kill me, so... <laughs> um, I think I might going to be the first out oh, of this. What can I say? I'm scared of ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Right. <laughs> um, I can't be arsed. I'll do it afterwards. I was going to try and do some gymnastics to put the um, verification tab onto the other screen that doesn't come up on the on the um, stream, and try mm. and uh, sort it. But uh, oh boy! Oh wow! <laughs> Oh, that tree's kicking a pound in, though. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Bastard. In case you're not seeing the chat, uh, Paul says, if there's one complaint it would have about the new colour Kobo readers is that they still persist with the raised bezel around the screen. Really wish they were flush with the screen. No, I hate like this screen here, the main screen that I've got has no bezel on it and it's it's just like what's the point if the screen doesn't go to the edge then you might as well protect the edge of the screen with, with something you know it, it, they still have a bezel in technology you know in a technical re- you know there's still a border around the screen i just don't oh see the God. point of, you know it's same uh, I don't, you don't notice as much with a phone because it's smaller but what Whoa! <laughs> that is one cheating griffin. The tree came out of nowhere. Yeah, I've got the wider side one on the, my cobra that I've got, but I mean, I'm not going to rush out and buy a new one. I mean, the one I've got is fine. The tree came out of nowhere. He couldn't see the tree for the forest. <laughs> I like the idea of it. I like the idea of getting one of those sort of e-ready devices that um, is basically just like stock Android on an e-ink screen. Mm. Um, so you could read like long websites as well as books and all sorts. Of that, but they're expensive. They're like like what four hundred quid or something. Well, e-ink's quite an expensive technology. Oh, is it? Oh, I hope it comes down in yeah. price because I do like it. I mean, it's so much better for your eyes than most portable screens. Yeah. But um, I, I just wish that the, 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 the fad which has gone on for so long about 100% touch screens would fake off, you know? Mm. Give us black, back a number pad and stuff, you know? Well, the, the European um, car safety people, I forget what they're called now, um, they, they're starting to mark down cars that don't have proper buttons. The, the instead right. of like rely on the flat screen. Yeah, my parents have a like their 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 dash on their car car is all touch screen and it's basically if I have to do anything with it, you gotta pull over. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but that's it, because you know, there's no physical feedback. You, you don't know mm. if you're off by a bit or anything. no, that's just a stupid, mm. stupid idea. It's a stupid obsession based on economics. You know? Uh, 
cost cutting in it <clears throat> yeah it's like oh this is cheaper than this is and well we if we make everything touch screens then it's cheaper for us to make a million of these touch screens than it is to make half a million of them and half a million of them yeah. all these sort of stupid stuff yeah paul i've got physical buttons in my e-reader as well yeah I switch off all the touchscreen stuff apart from the bit you can't. I tend to get rid of a fair amount of my my paper books, Meander. I once I've read a book and I don't think I'm going to read it again. It tends to tends to go to the charity shop. I've got two two rows of books that I keep, and most of them probably are ones that I'll reread again at some point. Oh, I'm terrible for not giving up books. I certainly don't give up um, reference books. I I did at my last mm. purge, which was when I moved from the old flat to this one. I gave up um, some reference books which were like 30 years old. And I don't mean like they were stuff that you could get again, like, you know, mm. home computers or something that you might do again in the future. But they were like web technology that will never exist again, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got a lot of reference books. Um, obviously, a lot, of, a lot of journalist ones for, for law and stuff like that as well. Yeah, good. Well, you got these sort of quick guide to various bits and pieces of law, have you? Yeah, yeah, it's quite quite a few of those like quick guide type things just to I mean usually like I'm not usually at risk of actually upsetting anyone usually, but it has happened. But yeah, usually when we're playing West now. <laughs> Cuz my mum went to buy an e reader a couple of months back and I said, "No, don't buy a bloody Kindle. You'll <sighs> never be able to do anything with the damn thing except whatever they tell you and they can remove stuff remotely and all sorts of shit, you know." Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I worry about the Amazon Kindle side of things because it, it kind of just makes like Amazon the library of the world, and exactly, and then information becomes it's theirs. Yeah, theirs. Yep, yeah. very bad, very bad. Mm. Um, Paul's hot take is that paper will always be better for reference books. I agree. I do agree. Uh, yeah, no, I, I agree too. That's, that's why I still have a lot of. Um, I've got a few reference books and things in there still. And I like to pick up second-hand reference books, but I haven't done it for a while because I've been good in terms of, you know, stuff piling up rather than being good in terms of books. Because yeah. there's absolutely nothing wrong with buying books. <laughs> books are always good. I know exactly what Chris is going to do next, and it's going to be, and I should not have moved my lead right like that. I was reckless, but I just really wanted to kill that griffin. Do you know exactly what I'm going to do? Yes, I know exactly what you're going to do. Do you know what units it's going to involve? Yes. Oh, uh, I'm I'm gonna go with yes, Lucy. No. I I think I think it's kind of obvious because I've got that sort of vague double envelopment of rogues. Yeah, I'm I'm about to uh, kill Lucy's leader. There oh. we go. Just killed Lucy's leader. There we go. I mean, you still you still got a band of folks, and I'm sure you got some trees in the woods. Was that was the thing that I was gonna do? Was that what you thought it was gonna be? Yeah. Lucy? I thought yeah. you would either attack me with the griffin and the backstab, or two backstabs. Two backstabs. The dual backstab is my trademark finishing move, like yeah. wrestling. Certainly is. Lisa may just go crazy rogue and kill everything <laughs> she can see. Oh, is she going to oh. just charge up at my leader? That would be an interesting one, actually, that if she has a be... few units left to just kill your leader off and win the game for me. <laughs> uh, it's, or at it's, least, it's... you know, dump the game to me. Good it's revenge. It's kind of thing I would I, do, let's be honest. <laughs> I, I, Lucy's got the potential to do a fair amount of damage with the, the remaining units, particularly oh. since maybe some of them are able to hide in the woods. <laughs> like, I don't even want to give suggestions. There's more that you could, she can even do things like, well, like take my villages and sap my income, for example. Because you can even do that once your leader's dead. You just de-flag de the village. Oh, is that what happens? Yeah, if I take a village, it would go to be an unallied village. Just an independent village. I don't I don't really see it as, as taking your villages. I see it as freeing them from your tyranny, Chris. Yeah, it's a li exactly. liberation movement, is it? Yeah. Free people from Chris's tyranny is always a good idea. Ah, uh, that's where it was. I thought it might be, but then I've got a lot of poison here, so I wasn't quite as worried about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, you get two of them oh. hidden there. Oh, well, that's it. Game over then. Unless you get a third one. Well. <clears throat> Ta-da! Oh. Dick, I mean, sorry, Chris. Sorry, where did I start? <laughs> Richard for a minute. I was so close to your leader. You probably can't see what I've got in the trees, can you? Well, now that the game is over. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Elvis I Ranger. didn't know you were wanting to look at anything. And a woes. I was, well, Elvis, Elvis Ranger has been there for a little oh. while, actually. I just um, oh, just waiting, waiting in the woods, is it? Well, I was waiting until I could get um, like three or four troops all around your leader because I knew the Elvis mm -hmm. Ranger wouldn't take them out in one go. Mm -hmm. Not, not I, shot that was a very imbalanced map in terms of village mm. uh, distribution. I felt. Yeah, oh. yeah, definitely. Like I. <sighs> It, sometimes I almost feel like it's it's worth when when it's a three player game to have a fourth uh, computer. 